Here's the next example from your note packet. A dose of children's liquid Tylenol is 160 milligrams of acetaminophen per 5 milliliters of liquid. If an adult dose is 650 milligrams acetaminophen, how many milliliters of children's Tylenol would an adult need to take? I like this problem because it is medical related and many of you will enter the medical field. I had a chance to look at a nursing practice exam and in the nursing practice practice exam, they had questions very similar to this. It had to do with dosage. And I realized if you knew how to do dimensional analysis, you really didn't need to know the nursing part, but you could totally nail all of these dosage questions. So I included this question this school year so that you guys have a chance to see how you could solve a problem like this. Now, I really would love for you guys to just hit pause and try this on your own. Test out your skills, see if you can figure it out, and then when you're ready, keep watching. So here we go. A dose of children's liquid Tylenol is 160 milligrams of acetaminophen per five milliliters. I like that it is written out, but I recognize it is a ratio, 160 milligrams per five milliliters of liquid. Okay, so basically the statement tells you that the medicine part, acetaminophen, which is the uh, generic medicine or the generic name for Tylenol, there's 160 milligrams of that Tylenol uh, medicine per five milliliters of liquid. It tells you the adult dose is 650 milligrams. As I read around, that doesn't really sound like a ratio, but it could be. Maybe I can say adult dose equals 650 milligrams. This problem has a lot to do with reading comprehension, and if you can get past that, the calculation part is pretty easy. Finally, it reads, how many milliliters of children's Tylenol? Ooh, we have a starting point. We have uh, that we want milliliters, and it says, would an adult need to take? I think that the given maybe wasn't as obvious that it was 650 milligrams um, because it, the number did not follow the want as obviously as the previous examples have, but we definitely want you guys to brush up on your reading comprehension skills. If you see adult, you can tie it into the fact that the adult dose is 650 milligrams. Tie those things in together and then you can easily come up with a given from there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that previous statement that was mentioned earlier and say 160 milligrams of acetaminophen um, per 5 milliliters of liquid. So here's what I have. I'm trying to go from milligrams to milliliters, and guess what? That's the only ratio you need. So technically, I can go ahead and start this problem. I can say 650 milligrams over 1. I can look for that mg, that milligrams, and put it in the bottom. So here's my ratio, 160 milligrams per 5 milliliters. I can go ahead and multiply in my calculator 650 times 5 divided by 160, and I get uh, rounded to two sig figs, 20 milliliters. I hope you recognize that this number is only two significant figures because there's no decimal and the zero is not significant. And to make this two significant figures, I must put a decimal after the zero. Now this problem could have been taken one step forward. We could have asked you to calculate the number of liters. We could have asked you um, to convert from milligrams to grams, so there are additional variations that could have been done to make this problem a little bit harder, but typically on a nursing exam, when it comes to dosage, this is what it looks like, and I know that because I actually looked at a bunch of questions because I was trying to incorporate it into our dimensional analysis unit so you can see how it relates to the medical field.